On March 25th of my junior year, I stopped sleeping. There wasn't a reason, really. I go to a good school. I have nice friends. My parents are wonderful. I had a happy childhood. I just stopped being able to. Like some switch had been thrown in my brain, like someone had crazy glued my eyelids open. Linear test was so killer, you know. But afterwards, I got I got a good night's sleep, and now I'm, you know, I worked out this morning, went to practice, you know. It there was, she is. I felt really strong. Got... She eats breakfast here every morning at nine o'clock. Perfection. Yeah, I mean, so don't you have a chance to work? Totally. Sometimes I think I was made wrong, like a cog's gone loose. The instructions were missing when I was assembled, and so I've got all the pieces, but I don't work quite right. Human beings have been in groups since the beginning of humankind. We survive together. We thrive together. We're made for that. Why would we feel such an overpowering urge to blend in otherwise, to surround ourselves with tiny versions of ourselves and the people we love most in the world? It's there throughout history. Assyrians, Babylonians, Aztecs, Vikings, Greeks, Persians. There, in the rise and fall of empires, in the struggle for dominance, we band together through language or race or religion or nation. I understand all these things. The wants, the desires, the primal needs. I used to want that. I used to crave that. I feel alone in this world, surrounded by these fresh, happy faces. Here in this crowded room, I am alone. In the beginning, I read a lot. I watched some movies. I did some homework. But there was still all this time. Eight hours of empty space, so I started wandering. Sleep, coach, when you practice, it sucks. So freaking tired. I mean, like, I don't know, I have so Sleep is many weird. Times this week. Like, we just conk out for a solid seven to eight hours, just lie on a mattress zoning out. It gives us this illusion that our time here is broken up into little segments. Today, tomorrow, yesterday, last week. Each segment is different from the last. Clean, shiny, new. Recharged, rebooted, ready for round two. I got class now. Go take a nap, okay? Uh. Alright. You know what the worst thing about time is? It's apathetic. It doesn't care. No matter what, it goes on and on and on. You could be loving the moment, smiling so big you could split your face, and pretty soon, you're looking in the rearview mirror, watching those minutes like a highlight reel on the disappearing horizon. And you haven't even decided what road to take and where to go yet. And that's just how it seems. In reality, it's just ticking along, all at the same rate, indifferent to the suffering and joy all around it. 
it stops for no one. Not even people like Kara Benson, with her pretty face buried in some book, hair wrapped around her finger. She's got places to go, people to see. She's got it all figured out. And you can see it in the way she walks and talks in those pretty eyes. Concise, articulate, beautiful. How else could someone look so gorgeous in the middle of midterms on their junior year?